Hello, friends, Romans, and also countrymen, and welcome to Fez for PC. Now, this is something that uh, pretty much everyone has been waiting for for a long time, um, and we're all very excited about it. So, let's take a look. Um, this isn't going to really be a review or anything. This is just me taking a look at Fez for PC and seeing what it's like. Um, I have yet to actually finish Fez. Uh, I bought it on Xbox and never really played through much of it because I was kind of waiting for a PC release. Um, now, I'm going to just set this up right now uh, so we can get into the game. But uh, I do want to talk about a little bit of um, things just with the game itself. Um, the game was released in 2012 initially for Xbox Live Arcade, and Phil Fish originally said it's never going to come to PC, ever, um, because he didn't feel like PC was an adequate format for a retro game like this. He felt like it wasn't didn't emulate the console experience. Anyway, that's his reasoning. So, um, let's take a look. And uh, first thing is the controls. Um, so we've got arrow keys for uh, movement, space for jump, WASD doesn't do anything, um, and let's go to the options menu and see if there's, uh, we've got language, let's see, it doesn't look, oh maybe you can, okay, you can rebind your controls. So I guess the rotation of the world uh, is with uh, WASD. So anyway, let's get right into the world. Uh, now, because I have it, I'm actually going to be playing this with a 360 pad, just because that's kind of how the game was designed. Um, I hate this kind of game with keyboard. I feel I th generally feel like it's really unintuitive. Um, I think this game, this style of game works really, really well with the 360 pad. So I know I'm not really getting the actual PC experience, but I mean, we're just going to see if the functional version gets, it has been ported to PC adequately. And also, if you haven't played the game, you get to get a little taste of what the game is like. So, let me just start off with a little background of like what this game is. Um, it was conceived as just a, a retro platformer, um... But it has a twist in that you can rotate the world. Now, I haven't gotten that power yet, so I'm actually going to progress to that point so I can show that off. Um, but as you can see, it's got a really nice pixel art style. Um, it's common. Uh, the, the style is common for games like this. Oh, I can't go through the fireplace yet. Um, but... But... Uh, I feel like this game's style is unique in that it's not trying to emulate any kind of other... It's not trying to emulate a specific game um, in its pixel art style because if you go back to old games, you'll def definitely notice that uh, every game has its own very unique style and uh, you can generally see an old like NES game, for example, and you'll be able to pick out that game... Um, like, what the game is just by looking at the sprites and the art style. Um, and I think that's what's really nice about uh, this game, is that it really brings its own style. It's not uh, kind of derivative of another, uh, some other game. Um, and the characters are very unique as well. Uh, they're quite cute, which I enjoy. Um, I'm kind of sucker a sucker for cutesy things. Um, and, yeah, so art style... As far as art style goes, this game is just phenomenal. Um, now, let's get our Fez powers here. It's Gomez time! We're Gomez, by the way. Just you wait, there you go! Wow! And uh, what I really love about this game is it kind of reminds me of... Um, sword and sorcery in that as you can see it's incorporating elements that are not uh, pixel art and so it's got some really nice aesthetics in that it actually isn't a pixel art game even though the art style is represented by pixel art um, which just I feel like it's a really nice m merging of the two 
of two distinct styles. Um, as you can see, distinct merging of two styles. Um, now, I'm gonna say, um, as you can see here is the it's kind of an example, the rotating stuff. Um, I'm gonna say this game is better objectively on PC. Already, um, I'm running this game in 60 frames per second right now. Granted, you won't be able to see that because YouTube downscales everything everything to uh, 30 frames per second. But, um, this... I think this game is objectively just better on PC because you can play it with a keyboard if you want to use a keyboard. You can play it with a controller if you feel that a controller is more appropriate. Um, you can run it in 60 frames per second, which is really nice, especially for a platformer. Um, you don't feel like you've got any sort of, like, I don't know, floaty controls. That helps with the floaty controls um, in some games. And it looks really smooth, and you can run it in 1080p. Granted, because it is a... Uh, because it is a pixel art game, it's, uh, uh, it's not the thing has to, the, you know, thing, not a game that be run, so I need to Anyway, I just, uh, the game. It's interesting, it's, uh, part of the